Hello everyone, Phoenix Fella here and welcome back to another Farm Simulator 15 Mod Spotlight. If you guys haven't checked it out yet, uh, head on over to la yesterday's video, where I said last <laughs> uh, and check out this awesome trailer as it was released uh, with permissions from a subscriber of mine. But let's get to today's, uh, what well, looks like a mess, but <laughs> I swear it's gonna, it's, gonna, it's gonna work out. So anyway, um, we have some Winston trucks to do some uh, mudbone trailers to do and a mudbone truck and this freight liner which I just thought was awesome I got these to haul around those trailers just that's why they're out but let's hop into all springs trucks first alright so whoa inverted <laughs> okay so there's some cracks you gonna get wet um, The blinkers don't blink. It has backup lights, brake lights, turn signals don't blink, it's headlights, tail lights. Alright, so let's hook up to this one first. Uh. Get off landscape trailer. There we go. Alright, so we got. Let's pull it around a little bit. See how it handles. Oh, here we go. Here we go. 104. Alright. Whoa, lag spike. Turn it on. Her try to kind of moves around. Unfold. Crap goes down back up so this trailer um, when you first get it it's like that other the gooseneck that was like a grayish color I went in and uh, made the black a little bit darker because uh, I like I, I don't I'm not a fan of that that, that grayish black look so I, I, I did that uh, when you guys download it, it's gonna be gray. Everything else is just like it's supposed to be. So if you guys like the uh, the bigger, the bigger scale uh, trucks, these are the trailers for you. Um, they're scaled up a little bit bigger. So uh, I'm gonna give it a five out of five actually because I like it. it. Has locking script. I like that wood texturing. <laughs> it looks like real like plywood. So that's cool. And uh. It's all overall good trailer, nice and wide also. So we're gonna give the trailer at five out of five. Let's disconnect and drive this truck around a little bit without the trailer. Okay, so when you get high speed it it's a bit wobbly which is to be expected because you don't make a turn at 70 miles per hour without losing control <laughs> it's a tree magnet let's drive it in the water oh. bless you we're stuck in the trees alright Ooh pothole. All right. So, uh, much like the Raptor, it's a really awesome model. Um, it's just lacks the, uh, the emblems and stuff like here, the Silverado emblem is missing. Uh, the Chevy emblem is missing back here. Emblems missing. 
Uh, the interior needs some work. Um, ow. Fell, fell through. Um, but overall, it's a really nice looking truck. So I'd give it a 4 out of 5. It just has some some minor details that needs to be worked out. And it'd be an awesome, awesome truck. So let's tab over. This is Winston's Heavy Haul with a light bar on top. Oh, F-350. Light bar works. So we're going to hook it up to one of these goosenecks, actually. I wonder if this thing will even load one of those cars because of how wide it is. Lock the load. Oop. Hit telephone call. This trailer is like super long. It's it's longer than the uh, PJ trailer. Here, same as usual, or the other ones he had. <laughs> the gooseneck sets up higher than the actual truck. trailer in. I can back a trailer in easier in real life than I can in this game. <laughs> right. Disconnect it. Alright. Again, trailer is like a grayish color, so I went ahead and made it blacker. Um, the only problem I have with this is this this connector is like super long so when you connect it to the truck it actually sits higher than the actual truck is um, other than that it's a really awesome trailer like I said it's bigger than the uh, PJ trailer not only length but width it's bigger so you can haul bigger bigger equipment with it um, but I just don't like that but I'm still gonna get a 5 out of 5 because it still works and uh, that's just a minor thing that can be overlooked um, the truck is the actual same as the other heavy haul we did of his. I believe we did his, his other heavy haul truck. I think so anyway. But like the doors open and everything still. Cool stuff. Um, we're going ahead and give it a 5 out of 5 because it works. The only thing I dislike is how high this hitch sets up because it makes that even huger. But uh, we're gonna give it five out of five still. Not that, not that. Uh, get out of here. Um, let's do the Ford Heavy Haul next. Interior as usual. 
gonna hook up this other gooseneck with it. That's a really trailer hung up on a flag. Really? work back this one in over here actually you know what Again, same with this one, 5 out of 5, the same, it, it was gray, I made it black. Um, it's not as wide because you got the, the sides here, but still wider than the PJs. I think it might be actually longer also than the, that, the smaller of the two PJs. So, let's do the truck now. Truck, pretty nice for Ford. Light bar works. Blinkers work. Bed light works. That was my fault. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we're going to give it 5 out of 5. I like it. Um, again, the only thing I see wrong with it is the actual the, the fist wheel, how high it sits up. Uh, but that's a minor thing. So Everything else looks good on it, so we're going to go ahead and give it a 5 out of 5. Tab over. Um, we're not even going to worry about this one because it's the same thing, just minus the light bar. Uh, let's head on over this truck here. Does it have? Yes, it has a hitch on the back. So it's. Yeah. See, this is the gray I was talking about. This is mud bones. You can definitely tell the difference there. This is the same one we did. He changed. <laughs> he changed the seats. Remember how the, the other one, the seats were like a funky, like pattern or whatever, it really messed with the eyes. <laughs> he actually messaged me and apologized for it. <laughs> it wasn't a big deal, but it really did mess with my eyes. I'm glad to see he changed them. But he said this was the same actual cab on it. He just looks like he put dual stacks on it and made a bed on it, or a logging bed on it. Uh, don't do logging, so... I'm not going to be able to really test it out, but this is cool. Oh, this trailer is cool too. Uh, let's pull the trailer over here. Back it in. So, 
trailer we're gonna give a five out of five, much like that landscaping trailer re 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 we released yesterday, has the weed ears here on the side. This one actually has gas up front, and it has two ramps that fold down. It has the side ramp, and then it has the back ramp. Um, so if you guys are looking for a bigger scaled landscaping trailer, here you go. All right. Now the cool thing with this truck here is you can. dump your logs off to the side. That's awesome. Makes it a little bit easier unloading. Let's take the pothole road. See how it handles. Alright. So we're gonna give it a five out of five. It looks good and it I mean it's it works. <laughs> what else can you ask for? Um really nice truck, nice job again, mud bone tab over did we do no we didn't what are we waiting for oh okay we will do this for it because we got another trailer to do Load this car onto it. Someone needs to take this technology and make a uh, flatbed tow truck. Did we really get stuck? These trails, <laughs> how tall they are compared to the trucks are hilarious. So, if I read correctly, this part here doesn't have a locking script, but the rest of it does. Um, so, we're going to give it a 5 out of 5. It's really nice. I really like how it tilts. Like I said, someone needs to take this technology and make a uh, rollback tow truck for us. That would be awesome. Um, but the trailer, really nice. 5 out of 5. And what else do we have left? Tab over. Tab over. Winston's version of the dump truck I think these are the same yeah we've done these before um, 
uh, Captain Convert these are for us. This is just Winston's paint job on it. Pretty sure it's like pretty much the same truck because it's it looks just alike and so just that little bit of handling it felt a lot like the ones that Captain sent us a while back. So we'll give it a 5 out of 5. Just not gonna take up more time by testing out a mod we've already done. We have this is it right here. The last of the Mudbone trailers that we have to test. With our semi truck here that we've just been it's just been sitting like patiently waiting since the beginning. I've already gone ahead and um edit this truck already, if you couldn't tell with the orange and white. I really like this truck. I changed the flag on it. It had I don't even know what country the flag was, and then it was like a red, white, and blue. I changed it to orange and white. Going downfalls, it doesn't have working blinkers. That's right. Ooh. The beacons work though. And the lights work. Loading potatoes. Okay, so ten percent. Pretty big trailer. Load. That was quick. <laughs> Alright. So, the trailer, we're going to give a 505. It's a really nice trailer. Really big trailer. Um, I don't see anything wrong with it at all. Uh, the truck, we're going to give it a 5 out of 5. Also, even though it does not have working blinkers, overall, it's still a really nice looking truck. Um, so we're going to get a 5 5. And that's going to do it for the day. If you guys liked the video, be sure to leave a like down below. If you guys want to see more of Farming Simulator 15 Mod Spotlights, be sure to click subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye bye.